long day today. Presentations. All right, this was a success. Day two of flying. Beautiful little field. Wow, that's so gorgeous here. Let's get some fuel. Lamona, Iowa. This country is full of gems, I'll tell you. It's amazing. Got up early, had an early start today. So now, gotta, I'm gonna head over to the airport, get Athena ready to go, and we'll be on our way to Vegas. A three hour flight. Looking forward to this one. It's gonna be interesting. Beautiful day here in the uh, Denver area. This was a nice hotel. This Hilton Inverness. You gotta remember that. Good restaurant downstairs, too. Nice bar. Very nice. Another day. Having some fun flying here. Right now, going to Las Vegas. A little bit delayed because of my meetings this morning but it's okay it's, I don't have to be there at any specific time so let's get this started we're gonna fly VFR under the glass Bravo and then pick up the IFR clearance by Alpha Echo Juliet the Central Colorado Regional Airport so that this way we don't get routed around like crazy got 57 gallons of fuel all right let's prime this The day is heating up as we're moving along here. Good prop. Let's get our ATIS. Centennial Airport information, Papa. 15530, wind 3203, visibility 10, view clouds 12000, 22000 scattered, temperature 26, check density altitude, D.8, altimeter 3012, visual approach in use, landing and departing on 35 right, 35 left, 10 and 28. Ground good uh, morning, series November 122, Sierra Zulu information, Papa, Tech Air, looking to taxi, uh, VFR westbound. Sierra 2, Sierra Zulu, runway 35 right, taxi via Alpha. <laughs> be heading towards the mountains today. I'm gonna to be flying at 16,000 feet just because that's the only option. So I can have clearance of the mountains. First part is gonna be VFR. I'll pick up IFR just to alleviate the pressure of getting into the Class Bravo at uh, Las Vegas, although I've done it before. Sometimes I get very excited and a little, I wanna say, nerves kick in when I'm in a unknown environment, complicated airspace with all kinds of different things like mountains and terrain and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's all the same. Okay, I have to remind myself that this is just another airport. There's nothing more to it. And then I kind of help myself calm down and just listen closely. If I have a question, just ask. It's always better to ask than to make a mistake. Just ask. Not familiar, ask. Two Sierra Zulu monitor tower, he'll call you. Well, monitor tower, two thanks. Sirius 122, Sierra Zulu, Centennial Tower, runway 35 right, lap. Only traffic on final is going to circle to 28, additional traffic will cross downfield. All right, runway 35 right, line up and wait. 122, Sierra Zulu. Okay, we're ready. This guy has just touched down. Sirius 2, Sierra Zulu, fly straight out, runway 35 right, clear to take off, wind call. Straight out, runway 35 right, clear for take off, 1, 2, Sierra Zulu. All right, full power. There's this live both places. Four, seven, seven knots. Runway 28, runway 28, clear land number 3. Up. Only 94% power, 93, because of uh, the altitude and the heat. Caps available. Series 2, Sierra Zulu, fly west to I-25, then southwest. West I-25, then southwest, one of the two This is where they want you, going west. We'll climb to like 9,800 feet. That's what the mountains look like. 
There's terrain, the red are strikes. But as we're climbing, we're gonna clear all these. And time for oxygen. I came quick. A little bit of bumpiness, but not too bad. It's amazing that at 9,000 feet, it's still pretty warm out. It's 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 Celsius, but it's all relative because we're only like 3,800 feet off the ground, you know? I mean, the views up here are just spectacular. All right, we're just leveled out. 9,800, just below the Class Bravo, which starts at 10,000 feet. With the heat, we're not producing a lot of power at this altitude, only 70%. And uh, now we can climb. Let's climb up to 16,500. Wow. And I have officially cleared all the terrain. So beautiful here. It's just spectacular here. It's pretty stiff wind uh, from the right side. We're gonna get some pretty bad bumps over here. Let me climb. These mountains over there, if it's 31 knots from that side, they're gonna hit hard. Still climbing at this altitude at like 1,500 feet a minute. It's pretty crazy. That's the power of those turbos, you know? Yeah, it's a little smoother up here, for sure. The huge valley right in front of us. I've actually been in this valley for a conference. Some little town somewhere. Cruising at about 182, 181, 183. True, 178 over the ground. Gonna be there in two hours, 45 minutes. Uh, let's do some oxygen checks. Then every 15 minutes we'll do that. 95, not bad. And I'm excited, right? But it's good. Timber Set it up. 16,000, that's good. Alright, now I can relax a little bit. Lay back. And enjoy the ride. Center, good morning, good afternoon rather. Uh, series November 1, 2, 2, Sierra Zulu. 2, Sierra Zulu, Denver Center, Fox 3354. 3354. Number 122, two, Sierra Zulu, radar contact, 20 miles northeast of the Buena Vista Airport, southeast. Your position checks, altitude 16,500, looking to pick up IFR to Las Vegas, and looking to amend altitude to flight level 180. Number 122, Sierra Zulu, Roger, for the Las Vegas Airport. Via Blue Mesa as filed, climate maintained, by level 180. All right, uh, clear to Las Vegas Airport via uh, Blue Mesa as filed, uh, climate maintained, flight level 180. One, two, three, six. I'll do 180 just because it's going to be better up there. And let's set the oxygen to that. I should be on the initial descent now, down to 10,000 feet. Uh, we have only about 25 minutes left. Great flight, beautiful day out there, hot. I can tell it's hot out there. Four degrees Celsius, 39 Fahrenheit up here, and we're at 14,000 feet. We'll be in Vegas very, very shortly. Can't wait. By the way, the scenery on this flight has been absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I just could not get my eyes off the ground. I mean, that's the way to see it too, because when you're in the airlines, you're not as close. And it looks like we're going to be flying right over Lake Mead, at the Meads intersection, which I can see it up ahead. That's pretty cool. Well, Alright, we'll be taking runway 19 right. 2 Zulu, fly heading 270, vector for sequence. Heading uh, 270, 2 So 2 6 is better for the airlines because that's where all the terminals are at. Where uh, the 1 9 is better for GA. General Aviation because that's all where all the FBOs are. Atlantic, Signature, all these guys. I can turn off the oxygen. November 2, Sierra Zulu, descend to maintain 8,000, turn left heading at 230. 
8000 and uh, left heading 230, 1 to Shazerland. Cheers, 2 Zulu, counted approach 119.4. 119.4 to Shazerland. Approach uh, series number 1 to Shazulu, uh, through 8.748000, uh, 230 heading, very bumpy. Number uh, 2 Sierra Zulu, to set to maintain 5500. 5500, 1 to 2 Shazerland. Approach uh, to Shazulu, airport in sight. Number 2 Sierra Zulu, roger that approach, clear to shortly, to set to maintain 5500. 5500. Relax, it's perfectly fine. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Number two, Sierra Zulu, direct the stratosphere to join the final. Clear visual approach will be one nine right. I repeat that uh, uh, fix to Shazulu, please. That way, fix. Do you see that big uh, tower up there? Looks like a space needle. Affirmative. Put Rick there to join the final. Clear visual approach will be one nine right. Okay, that's what she means. Number two, Sierra Zulu for helicopter traffic. Uh, Just maintain at or above 3,500 until a three mile final. All right, 3,500 until a three mile final to Shazulu, thanks. Two, Sierra Zulu, no problem. You can contact Las uh, Vegas Tower now, 118.75. Good day. Las Vegas Tower, good afternoon. Series November 122, Sierra Zulu uh, for the visual one eye on our right. Going to signature today. Uh, two, one two two Sierra Zulu, Las Vegas Tower, one two one zero one four, one on the right, clear to land. Runway one nine er right, clear to land. One two Sierra Zulu. So, so bumpy. Moving here about thirty seconds. I'm making eight thirty. The Sierra two Sierra Zulu, the will proceed direct. All right, uh, proceed direct to Sierra Zulu. Altitude. Aha, uh -huh, there's the. The Area 51 airlines over here, about to take off. Wow, how cool is that? Sounds good, sounds good, about five seconds. Okay, we'll go back from 19 left, from 19 left, clear for takeoff. 19, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff, November 7, Quebec. 66, Las Vegas Tower, runway 19 left, line of wood. 19 left, line of wood, line of wood, 66. 47, approaching across from 19 right. 47, crossing 19 right, approach and hold short 19 left. 47, appreciate it, let me know you got those numbers, I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, hey, from it, we're ready. Series 2, Sierra Zulu, make the right turn at Sierra, contact ground 121.1. Where are you parked near? Is this a signature? Signature affirmative, uh, right on Sierra and over to ground, 2 Sierra Zulu, thanks. 2 Sierra Zulu, exit be a right turn, then your first left turn to get on Fox Alright, uh, right turn and uh, left turn on Fox Rock, 2 Sierra Zulu, thanks. Welcome to Las Vegas, folks. 103 degrees Fahrenheit, and 40 uh, Celsius. Parking at Atlantic. Freaking amazing. More work in the problem, Ron. And ground to Sierra is going to signature um, at Sierra Fox To Sierra Zulu behind the Sierra, off your left, pass behind them and go left on Hotel to signature. All right, I'll uh, pass behind them and uh, we'll make a left on Hotel to signature behind the Sierra to Sierra. Thanks. All right, there's our follow me car. Who wants to walk in this heat, huh? I'm used to I'm in the like Oh, I'm sure. Hey, you, you're well equipped. You got your the whole. I love this. The Lazio Hotel for a couple nights here. We go meet my buddy Nick and uh, go check in possibly or go grab some lunch or something and go to the pool. Vegas, here we come. Wow, it's a jungle. 34. This is nice, man. How about it, Nick? Beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Day two. Today I have a, a cabana at the pool, so we're just gonna hang out there pretty much all day. And then uh, um, yeah, we're gonna go to the Caesar's Palace right next door and uh, see Sting tonight. Uh, he's a resident over there, which is awesome. Looking forward to that. 